Hello students, hello viewers. Welcome to Senior College Mathematics. Topic of discussion is logarithms of numbers. If you are in senior college, you are preparing for YEC, for NECO, for GC, for NAPTE, for JAMP, or any other external or entrance examinations into high school. This topic, this lesson is for you. Lesson two, use of logarithm and anti-logarithm tables before that for updates follow voice of peter course via youtube at peter course simplified maths to do that subscribe to this channel like this video share it to your friends your colleagues your classmates your students you can also follow voice of peter course via Facebook, Instagram, at Peter Course Simplified Maths. For questions and inquiries, use the comment section. Logarithm tables are used to find logarithms of numbers. Logarithm tables, Okay, they are used to find the logarithms of numbers. Logarithms used in calculations are normally in base 10. So I can say that the default base is base 10 and they are called common logarithms. There are other bases of logarithm. For example, you have base E. Base E is called natural or Napierian base. That is base E. The natural logarithm of S is written in this form log S base E. But in most scientific calculators, what you have there is lin S. So this lin S represents natural logarithm of S. Or any other number. The logarithm of a number consists of two parts called the characteristic or integer part and the matissa or decimal part. So note that the log of any number has two parts. The first part is the characteristic or integer part and the second part is the matissa or decimal part from this the first part is a whole number then the second part is decimal the characteristic is a whole number okay it's a whole number which may either be positive or negative and it determines the size of a number the matissa is a decimal it is the four digits obtained from the table that is the four figure table so so we, we are going to learn how to find these two parts that make up the logarithm of any number so let's look at how to find the characteristic of a number okay in log form the characteristic part of a number can be obtained by two methods the first method is subtracting one from the number of digits in the integer part of it of the number whose logarithm is being sought or you express the number in standard form the characteristic is the index or power to which 10 is raised to which 10 is raised that is the characteristic part so we have these two methods of finding the characteristic of a number so examples find the integer part of the logarithms of the following numbers example 10 
63.24 should find the integer or characteristic part okay so method one is a method of subtraction we said that in this method you subtract one from the number of digits in the other part that is the integer part now the integer part is the part before the decimal point so there are two digits before the decimal point so the integer part or characteristic of log of 63.24 is 2 minus 1 equal to 1 so you subtract 1 from the two digits and that gives the integer or characteristic part by the method of standard form you express this number in standard form you know a number is said to be a standard form when it is expressed as a times 10 to the power of n where a is any number between 1 and 9 inclusive so this number is more than 9 to have it in standard form you need to move this point backward to between 6 and 3 so you have 6.3 324 times 10 because the movement is backward the power is positive and the point is moved once so you have power of 1 so this power of 1 is the characteristic the same as the one we obtain by the method of subtraction so the characteristic of the log of 63.24 is 1 so both methods give the same result but one is faster that is the method of subtraction example 11 to find the integer or characteristic of 693572 this number has no decimal point so we have six digits there are six digits the integer part or the characteristic of the log of six nine three five seven two is obtained by the method of subtraction you subtract one from the six digit that is six minus 1 equal to 5 by the method of standard form for us to put this number in standard form you must have the point between 9 and 6 so from the end day you move 1 2 3 4 5 so the point is here then times 10 to the power of 5 so this 5 is the characteristic that is what you have here then number 12 you have 8.341 by the method of subtraction there is only one digit before the decimal point so if you subtract one from one you have zero so the characteristic or the integer part of the logarithm of 8.341 is 0 is 0 example 13 we have 0 0.4367 this number is less than 1 so if we have numbers less than 1 the best approach is to use the method of standard form so for this number to be in standard form you have to move the point from where it is to between 4 and 3 so you have 4.367 times 10 you know in standard form when you are moving from left to right that is forward movement the power is always negative it's negative 
since the movement is once we have power of minus one and this is the characteristic of the log of 0 0.4367 this minus one is best written as bar one as bar one example 14 you have 0 0.007392 so by the method of standard form you must move the point to between seven and three so you move one two three so if the point is here you have seven point three nine two the movement is forward the power is negative so therefore the characteristic of the log of 0 0.007392 is minus 3 also written as bar 3 from this you will notice that if the number is greater than 1 the characteristic is positive if the number is less than 1 it is negative note the number of zeros behind the first non-zero number from the left hand side can also be used to get the characteristic part easily in negative form what that means is this you come here the first non-zero number is seven how many zeros are before it that is three but it has to be minus three so that minus three Become the, inti become the integer or characteristic part. When you come here also, the first non-zero number is 4 and you have one zero before it. So the integer part is minus 1. So this is the shortcut to getting the integer or characteristic part of the log of numbers that are less than 1. So let's consider how to find the matissa of a number. The matissa of a number. Okay. The matissa Okay. The matissa of the fractional part of a number is obtained with the guide of the following steps. Number one, the first two digits of the number are located on the left hand column of the table. Step two, locate the next digit on the number column. 0 to 9 step 3 the last digit is located under the difference column on the right hand side of the table step 4 add the number in the difference column to that in step 3 to give the logarithm of the given number so right away, I'm going to apply these four steps in order to find the matissa of a number. So we have examples. Find the logarithms of the following numbers. Example 15. We have 63.24. Remember, the log of a number has two parts, the characteristic or integer parts, and the matissa. So you start by finding the characteristic part. From a previous explanation, the number of digits before the point, they are two. That is six, three. If you subtract one, you have one. So the characteristic of 63.24 is equal to 1. So for us to find the matissa part, we have the overview of the 
logarithm table so this is the number column where you have all the numbers from 10 to 99 or thereabouts so this is the difference column then you have the number column from 0 to 9 so from step 1 you take the first two digits from this place that is 63 that is what you have here so you look for 63 under the third digit that is 2 so you have 8007 and difference the fourth digit that is 4 so difference 4 is 3 so you add these 3 to 8007 from the table the matissa of 63.24 is read as you check 63 under 2 from what i've explained you have 8007 difference 4 is equal to 3 that is from here now you add the difference to the number so the matissa becomes 8007 plus 3 that is 8010 so when you join together the the characteristic and the matissa part you know matissa part is always decimal so you you separate the integer part and the matissa part by decimal so the log of 63.24 is equal to 1.8 zero one zero so this is the overview of the log table that is a figure table and how you can use it to get the log theme of numbers so we have example 16 find the log theme of six nine three five seven two so you start by looking for the characteristic and that is 5 you subtract 1 from the 6 digit from the logarithm table in your four figure table or back of your master's book so we share the matissa of this how you take the first two digits that is 69 you check it on that 3 if you do that correctly you have eight four zero seven then okay you check it on that th three now you take it difference five difference five is three so you add the difference to this that is the matisana eight four zero seven plus three that is eight four one zero so the log of six nine three five seven two is equal to five the characteristic point the matissa eight four one zero note log of a number is calculated using the first four digits after which all other digits are neglected so in this number six nine three five seven two seven two has no use so don't be deceived we only use the first four digits you take the first two digits you check it under the third one and difference the fourth one from the fifth digits they have no use so next we'll look at the the use of anti logarithm tables now that we've learned how to use log table let's look at anti logarithm tables an anti logarithm that is reverse of logarithm of a number sorted to the original number is the number that has been given that 
has been given a lovely thing so it's like reverse you are asked to find the lovely team of a number now you know the lovely team of that number from the lovely team of the number get the original number so to get the original number you have to use the anti logic team table to carry out that process so this is a reverse process of finding logic themes of numbers and for this we can use the natural or anti logic theme okay to find the anti logic theme of 1.8010 from the anti log table the decimal part or number 8010 is located in the anti log theme table as follow so here we are interested in the decimal part that is from that part we obtain the anti log theme so as, you, as usual, you take the first two digits, that is 80. You read 80 on that one. You have 6, 3, 2, 4. Now, there's no difference, zero, no difference. Zero. So what, what it means is that the anti log theme of 0 0.8010 is 6, 3, two four six three two four okay now we need to we need to indicate that this number has integer part or characteristic part and the matissa part to do that we have to put this number in standard form now listen if you put this number in standard form it's going to be six point three two four this is already in standard form then this one you have here is this one here now raised to the power of one okay so we are going to express this number from standard form to ordinary form since the power is positive and it is one you have to move it forward one time so you move the point from where it is to this place for this term to disappear so you have 63.24 so this becomes the number whose lovely theme was 1.8 zero one zero so we've used the anti log thing to get the original number so let's take our uh, examples 17 find the number whose log theme to base 10 is this the lovely theme is given to you as 2.6025 then find the number whose lovely theme is 2.6025 to do this you have to use the anti lovely theme table remember in the number what we are interested in is the decimal part so if you take out the integer part 2 you, you are left with 0 0.6025 so from the anti log table we are considering 6025 where you read 60 under 2 in the anti log table we are going to see point zero point six zero. that shows we are interested in the decimal part 0 0.60 under 2 you have 3999 difference 5 that's the fourth digit difference 5 is 4 so to get the anti log of 0 0.6025 you add the difference to 3 
9999 that is plus 4 now and that gives 4004 so therefore the antilog of 2.6024 is 400.4 now why is the point here now this is the number hmm? so these two you have here for you to indicate the for you to indicate the decimal point you add one to two remember if you are looking for the integer part you have to subtract one from the number of digit before the point now that you are doing reverse anti log thing you add one to two so when you add one to two you are moving three steps from left to right so from this place you move one two three so the point is here that is why we are having four zero zero point four all right so since the characteristic is two it means three steps to the decimal point or you use standard form all right you know if we use the method of standard form you put the number in standard form the way standard form is in standard form you are going to have 4.004 then times 10 this two you have here is the characteristic if you express this number in standard form you know this two means you have to move the point forward two times so you move one two so the point is here so you have four zero zero point four if you use the approach of adding one and moving three steps from the left or standard form you are going to have the same result so this is how we find the anti logarithm the reverse of logarithm of a number end of lesson two thanks for watching and learning don't forget watch out for more from the voice of peter Kors. lastly if you are not safe your life is in crisis to avoid that you give your life to the one that can save you and that is the lord jesus christ and you confess him as your lord and personal savior every day of your life if you are saved already i tell you be congratulations live righteously and be prepared because on the last day some will be taken and some will be left take good care of yourself stay out of trouble study your books do the needful at all times flee every appearance of evil don't defraud others to make money use your hands and your brain to work genuinely and legally and the lord will bless you goodbye